I think I've figured out what's going on with my knees. I think that I've got a thing called a psychosomatic pain in my knees. And what that is, is, from what I think it is, is a pain which you have where there isn't actually any cause for the pain. It's, it's a mental, uh, your, your brain's kind of going, ah, oh, and sending pain signal, or making you think that you've got pain somewhere where you don't have any injury or damage or, or anything that should actually cause you a pain. The reason why I think this is because at the moment, when my knees are hurting, it's before I go and do the exercise. It's on the way to the gym. It's when I'm thinking about doing the exercises. I got this once before in the past where I, uh, whenever I was doing my snowboarding, whenever I was driving up to the ski slope, or the snow sports slope, my knees would get really sore before I got there. However, when I was doing the snowboarding, no problems whatsoever. And afterwards, again, probably nothing really sore afterwards. But it was the getting there, the kind of getting ready for it, that's when my knees got sore. And just now, throughout the day, knees have been fine. Walking around, doing stuff, no problem. On my drive to the gym right now, my knees are feeling, yeah, I, 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 not like, ow, they're hurt, but just like, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, they are a little bit sore just now. Almost like I just want to warm them up or something. So, I don't know if this is something which anybody else gets because I'm just crazy. But tell me what you think. Do you think this could potentially be something, or maybe it's got a completely different name. I don't know, I don't know. But all I think is that it's something like a psychosomatic pain where there isn't actually any injury or damage and... You know, like painkillers wouldn't really work because it's, it's not actually signals from your knees up to your brain so that there there's pain there. So, oh, interesting, interesting. So I'm going to, be, going to go in and do squats just now. Bet you, no problem with my knees when I'm doing it. Okay, so today it was front squats and uh, body weight today was 84.7. No, uh, yeah, 84.7. Uh, so under um, my 85 kind of max where I want to be. Um, so as front squats, I was doing some with my hands off. Uh, see whenever you do it with no no hands front squats, your posture is so much better. If you look at the kind of position of my, my what do you call it, your humerus? The part of your arm that goes from your shoulder down. Um, it is much higher up uh, and it means that your upper body is much higher up. Whenever I've got my... Like you see there, hands on the bar, my elbows drop a lot more. So I'm really thinking that no hands, front squats, really is the business. However, obviously you can't lift nearly as much weight just because it's so much more difficult. Um, so anyway, this is on the Wendler 531 day, and this is my one's day on the squat. So I was like, ooh, let's do this. Uh, here I'm at 50 kilograms. Uh, I'm just meant to be doing about five reps of this, and I'm trying to go down uh, as usual, as deep as I can go. If you can see, oh, okay, only three reps I did. Well, maybe it's 60 kilograms I did there. And uh, here, okay, here is definitely 60, and I should be doing. I have no idea how many I'm meant to be doing. Maybe I'm just doing three. One. But look at the speed. I'm trying to get them fast. It's almost bouncing off my shoulders. Four, and I'm trying to get it so it's, it's only about a centimeter off the actual bottom uh, bar there, the safety bar at the bottom. Um, so get it nice, very, very, very deep. So 80 kilograms, no hands. Trying to do three reps. I've done 80 kilograms, but I've only done one rep before. So here, once you pick it up. And then once you take your hands off, there's no going back. You can't put your hands back on. Your hands also shake a little bit, like do little jazz hands as you go down. Um, but again, going right down, you've really got to work on your balance. There's no hiding in this exercise. There's no, you know, some exercises you can just push your way through. But here you've got to have your balance. You've got to have your upper body. You've got to, it really works the core. Like your tummy muscles uh, really are a lot more worked out. 90 kilograms, I'm just doing one rep here because this is what I'm going to be doing as my as my number ones. Uh, so I'm going to go up in a weight so that I kind of stress myself a little bit more. Here I'm up to 100 kilograms, just trying to do one rep of this and I'm happy with that. I went down deep enough. That's why I video this, is so I can see how deep that I go and whether I can really count it. 
Now here is a new max, 104.5 kilograms. There's these little red things on the ground, but I don't know if whether they are two or two and a half kilograms each. So what I did, I put two little green ones, which are one kilogram each on each side, and a little tiny little orange thing, which is like 250 grams. So here, 104.5, this is a PB, if I get deep enough. Let's see how deep I get. Can I count this? Oh yeah, I'm counting that. That that was right down there. Okay, happy with that. 90 for one or more. So this is my working set, my maximum number of reps I can do uh, on my Wendler 531 number one's day. So let's see how I do on this. Got to do a lot of breathing beforehand. So one, look, look at the elbows. The elbows really start pointing down the way. That's not good. That's two. Let's see how deep this next one is. Yeah, three, I'm counting that, yeah. Deep depth wise, I'm going right down, four, uh, and it's well past horizontal, or parallel, or whatever you want to call it with your legs. Five. Is that six? Yep. That was a struggle. And then a complete fail. Like, a, like a, that is a monumental fail of just couldn't even start the movement back up. So I was like, cool, awesome. That has me reached failure. So that's six reps. Done. 90. That's more than I've done ever. And my theory about my knees, absolutely spot on. Not sore, not wobbly, not anything. Absolutely fine while I'm doing these exercises. So yeah, like throughout this whole exercise, not felt anything on my knees. Anyway, here what I wanted to do is I'm going back on to do with no hands uh, front squats. See how heavy I can go. So here is back to 80 kilograms. So the blue ones are 20 each and the green ones are 10. Uh, and definitely making sure I go down deep. So 80, I was like, okay, I've got 80, no problem. Can I go heavier? So I'll put on the yellow ones. No hands front squat. So 90 kilograms. This is five kilograms more than I've ever done before. The, uh, what I did last week was 85, and that was the first time I'd ever done this. So this will be a first time if I get deep enough. Do I get, because I've got to get down, otherwise I'm not counting it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm counting that. Yep, that's, that's going down. Cool. Now, here's where it got really good. I thought, do I go 95? Do I do maybe 92? Um, anyway, I had a lot of music on. Uh, so went up to 100. So this would have been a 15 kilogram increase um, from what I'd done just a week ago on front squat, no hands. Watch this, check this out. Elbows high, elbows high, that's good. And complete fail. Complete fail, no chance of me getting up there. So anyway, uh, what I want to do is a couple back squats just so I do a heavier weight. 100 kilograms here, feel, felt easy and fast. Felt like a completely different, you know, really is a completely different exercise from front squats. So here's 105, again, trying to get as deep as possible. I probably think I can't get as deep with this as I can with my front squats. 110 kilograms. It's been a long time since I've done 110. Uh, on the squats. The other thing is I really felt this in my glutes, in my bum muscles. I feel a lot more there when I'd be doing heavy back squats. Yeah, 110 was okay. 115. That's 115. Have, uh, and if my body weight is 85, that equals 120% body weight, I think. Somewhere around about that. Um, I'll, do, I'll put the maths down below in the description. But uh, 115, yeah, deep enough. And I would say that's smooth enough. So I thought, can I go up any further? I thought, I'm not going up to, I'm not going up to 120. So here's 117, uh, was it 170, 170.5? No, just 117. Uh, just two little green things on the side. Yeah, and I was happy with that. Then, the other thing, again, working on this kind of, this isometric handstand thing, where I go from this into that, so I'm just holding it, uh, really working the core uh, stability and everything there, but I'm finding it's really freaking sore right behind my neck, top part of my neck, there's something going on there which isn't quite right. 
I don't quite know what it is, it hurts a lot. I don't know whether it's the muscles or something, but it definitely feels like the spine bit just from where my neck is, where my neck and my shoulders all meet. So I thought maybe I need to keep my, my actual head pointing down the way a bit more. I'm not, I'm not too sure about what's going on here, because I'm sure it shouldn't be sore, but it is sore. So I'm thinking either I'm doing it wrong, or it's just something I shouldn't do, because I look at the position of my neck, my rounded back, and then let's go there. Definitely something I'm going to have to work on a lot. Uh, and then I randomly got a cramp in my foot. So I don't really know what that's about. So anyway, last one here. Trying to hold it for as long as possible. I'm pretty knackered by this time. But yeah, definitely sore in the back. Very, very difficult exercise this. And face to the ground. Nice. So that was my squats day. There you go.